truly remarkable, perhaps the greatest ever series win by any team when it comes to the stakes and the odds and the build up to it. New Zealand have beaten India. It's, it's a clean sweep of 3 0. Shane Bond, who has known Indian cricket, who has known the challenge it is to come and play test cricket in India and actually compete, let alone win, let alone win 3 0. Give me your reaction, Bondi. We witnessed some history today. Yeah, delight, I think, is the first one. I think, um, you know, New Zealand coming off the back of that series in Sri Lanka where they played, you know, pretty well, probably should have won the first test, but lost the series 2-0. I don't think anywhere anyone thought at home that we could, you know, win the series, let alone clean sweep. So I gave a little fist pump when uh, Ajaz went through the gate there on the last wicket, and I'm absolutely delighted for the players, for, for Gary, the coach. And it's always nice to see history created and for a team like New Zealand to beat India and be the first team to sweep them uh, in three test matches is, is something pretty remarkable. How have they managed this? Simple question. It's a great question. I think if you look at that New Zealand team, you've got um, a really nice blend of experience and youth. You've got players who have played in the IPL and in Indian conditions. You had contributions from everybody. Everyone through different test matches stood up. You know, it was Mitch Sant in the last test. It was Ajaz in this one. Um, and you've got a team that's had success over the last 10 years. So, they, you know, they, they believe they can win and compete. And I think obviously that first test match and starting well in the series was massive. And they've sort of just ridden the wave and and, and ridden that experience through the test match series as well. And um, it's, it's a, you know, New Zealand have a great period over the last sort of 10 years. And this is sort of the perfect way to cap it off, really. What worked for them, though? You need, a, you need certain things going your way when you want to try and get the better of India in India. What do you think worked for them? I, I think, you know, New Zealand have come to India with part-time spin bowlers. You know, in the past, we've had the, the part-time medium pace bowlers. And now when you look at Phillips, who's really worked hard over the last four years to develop his bowling, Ravindra, it's allowed New Zealand to have much more depth in the spin bowling department, which has really helped. And it's added to the depth of the batting. But I think Tom Latham talked about it. They've come with a clear game plan. They, they understood how they wanted to play and how they thought they could win, and they've executed it. And and really, for, for longer periods of time, they've been better than India. They've sort of done an India on India. And, um, you know, and, and they've done that over three tests, which is, which is a hell of an effort. What does this tell us about the health of test cricket in New Zealand, the future of potential red ball cricketers at a time where cricketers are understandably opting out of full-time contracts and we wonder where the game will go with regards to red ball cricketers. What does this series tell us, if anything? Oh, I think it, um, I think test cricket needs it. I think it needs a tight championship. So it's, I think it's good for overall test cricket. I think, I still think the games, you know, it's going to be challenged by T20 cricket, but I think for, I mean, New Zealand's been lucky, as I said, over the last 10 years to have world cups and one day cricket test championship win T20 final. And now this, I think it's always nice to see a game you love, um, prosper at home and, and with England coming around the corner I know it's already sold out people are pumped about cricket and it's nice you know in a, in a in a country that loves the winter codes predominantly that that people will be talking about cricket and talking about this performance because I think everyone recognizes what a hell of an effort it is we talk so much about spin and yes you need that to win here but we shouldn't forget what said the tempo of this series was a 46 all out in very different conditions in Bengaluru and we saw what Will O'Rourke is capable of Matt Henry seemed to have the better of Rohit Sharma right through the series. Saudi played his part quietly. Talk us through what you saw as the contribution of the seamers when you don't expect much from them when you tore India in a test series. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the bowling loads, do you, over the last couple of test matches when you've got seamers sort of bowling <laughs> six overs between them. I think that, that, again, that, you know, Matt Henry, if you look at his test record now, it's gone from averaging, I think, 50 at one point to it's, it's almost into the 20s. Now, that's how good he's been over the last few years. Still that experience of Saudi uh, at times where everyone was going around the park that he could control the run rate. Run rate. Will O'Rourke, I think, is a hugely exciting prospect for New Zealand. So New Zealand have obviously got these sort of guys who are now in their early 30s, have been around a long time, but it's that blend now of Brilliant Phillips at 27, or Ravindra, who's going to be you know, a quality player, um, and the O'Rourke's. Um, and, 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 you know, we were missing our best player. You know, that's the, that's the probably the most remarkable thing is that Kane Williamson wasn't there. So I, I think for a group to go, look, no one's irreplaceable. We can still perform with one of our best players. And I think the fact that they were managed to play as well as they did, and especially someone like Will Young, who I thought was brilliant, um, you know, that's a real credit to the group. And, and I'm really thrilled for, for Gary Stead, who's done a great job with the team. Let's talk about Gary Stead. You don't get the kind of airtime coaches in our part of the world do when you're part of the world. Gary Stead's been in the background for a long time. 
his contribution and what this would mean to his his the, the years of work he's put in? You know, I think um, you know he was he probably was under some pressure. I know people at home were, were calling for his sacking. You know, um, after the the T Twenty World Cup and a tough tour of Sri Lanka, but no one works harder than Gary. I played a lot of cricket with Gary. He coached me as a boy, actually played with him. You know, worked alongside him as a coach. He's a great man, very hard working. I um, mean, you know, at home, if you win some of the football code World Cups, you know, you get knighthoods at home. You know, Gary's won a Test Championship. He's taken his team to World Cup Finals. He's now won a Test Series three 0 um, and you won't see him front and center. It's the sort of guy that he is. Um, but I'm delighted for him because he's a top man. And and I think it's, uh, you know, he should get some recognition for the work that he's done. What about Tom Latham, the captain, Bobby? Great start to your, to your, to your captaincy reign, isn't it? I think, um, look, I think you got to pay some credit to Tim Southey, who was magnanimous enough to step down and say, look, it's someone else's time. Um, and a lot of the work that well, Tom would have reaped the rewards of the work that Tim's done over the last few years. I know he's a very good captain. He's a good man, good leader, and he will be delighted. I thought, um, you know, the innings he played in particular in that second test was one of the best innings I'd seen him play um, leading from the front. So, you know, you can sit there and watch TV as you do and pick holes in decisions and go, why isn't he doing this and why isn't he doing that? But in the end of the day, you know, he's won 3-0 and he's he's done a brilliant job. And, yeah, what a great start to his captaincy run. And finally, where does this stand among New Zealand's cricket achievements? Perhaps hard to say across sport, given the remarkable success the rugby teams had. But as far as cricket achievements go, where does this series win stand for you? Oh, look, I think in terms of test matches, it's our best result ever. I think, you know, no other team's come and done what New Zealand have done. I think when you when all teams talk about touring India, you know, it's it's almost like Mission Impossible to come and when it's even the great Australian team came there and couldn't win. You know, that's how that's win the series. So for New Zealand to come and and to win three nil, I mean, I know they've made World Cup finals. Win, would love to have won a World Cup one day final, but I think in terms of Red Bull cricket alongside the the Test Championship, this is far and away the the best series result ever. Bondi, thank you so much for your time and your thoughts. Thank you, mate. I'm going to celebrate now. <laughs>